This is M.52, our 52-inch commercial, fully autonomous, all-electric mower. It helps landscapers get more done on site by multiplying what crews can do. This machine here is the, the same generation of the machine that we had last year at Equip, but we've just kicked off production of the next generation of the machine. The biggest differences between this generation of the machine and the next is, first and foremost, a bigger battery pack, 25% more capacity, which electrification, electrification being a huge theme here at Equip is always the first question, how long can this last? So with a larger battery pack, the machine is able to mow at least eight hours a day and return to the shop with, with battery to spare. We have an updated control panel. Uh, we've learned a lot from field testing and from deploying with customers this year. And with that, it's uh, new handlebars that are more intuitive, more similar to what operators are used to using, as well as a touch screen and a keypad that can be used in the field to do everything that you need to do with the robot from the control panel itself. And then the last is just increased durability. This machine is heavy duty. We know it needs to stand up to the demands of commercial landscaping. So reinforced chassis, stronger stress points, things like that, to make sure that we can deliver on our clients' needs. Today is the first day of Equip. The demo's been running for about five hours here. We've been uh, going outside. You can see the ruts and the dirt being kicked up already. M.52 here today has already mowed this little patch of grass 150 times. So over three seasons worth of mowing in the course of a few hours, and that's kind of why you see it here. But it's just been absolutely rocking in this tiny little space, and it's exciting to see it move in action. We are scaling production now, so the next generation of the machine will deploy to customers in Colorado, Texas, and Florida next season. We're kind of ramping down this season as we call back these units. Um, and then those pre-production units that we launch and deploy next year will be kind of the last step before mass production. We've just doubled our production space and facility space, took over the second half of the building that we're at at our headquarters in Boulder County, Colorado. And with that, we're now ready to start ramping up that production and build as many robots as we can.